Hello kings and queens and welcome back to my channel. Let's go. You know, I'm giving everything that's supposed to be given right now. So this is the makeup look I did for Monique's 40th birthday. Um, I decided, you know, why not shoot a YouTube video on how I accomplished this look because it was giving what you was supposed to give, you know. It's it was just everything. And here I am today. <laughs> and here I am today. So if you guys want to see how I accomplished this look, please stay tuned. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you can get notified every time I post a video and I post every week. So, no further ado, let's get into this video. So, I have decided to do my eyes before I do my face. You know what, fuck it, we're gonna do our face first. So, I'm gonna be doing my brows first. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be back with my brows right then. Skincare is a very important step when it comes to makeup. So, I already did my skincare before doing this video. So, we're gonna go ahead to prime my face now. I'm gonna prime my face with my MAC Prep and Prime Spray. Then I'm gonna take my Lauren Mercier and I'm gonna apply this before I apply my foundation. And I did this the last time I went out, which was Saturday, which was last week. And girl, my makeup stayed on all night. It was intact. It was intact. So I'm gonna take, it was intact when I tell you my makeup was intact. So I'm gonna take this and apply it all over my face. Actually, this is also good for oily skin. Perfect for oily skin. I'm gonna take my concealer to conceal the place, fill all the places that I'm gonna conceal, my dark spots, um, underneath my eyes. For me, I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes. Underneath my eyes. The reason why I like this technique is because it just gives your makeup such a nice finished look. Can, can you guys see, see the difference between underneath my eyes here and underneath my eyes here? Yeah. Voila! So now that I've concealed my eyes, it's time for, oh, and it's time for me to conceal the rest of my face. So the next place I'm going to apply the concealer is around my mouth, because I feel like my mouth is a little bit darker from the rest of my face. So I'm going to apply um, here, 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 here. And I'm gonna put it around my nose too, just because, just because I want to. Now we're gonna blend this out. So good. That's that. Now for highlight, to highlight my face, I'm gonna be using a brighter concealer, which is like, I think it's like two shades, lighter than me. So all of the products I'm gonna be using are gonna be in the description below. So yeah. We're gonna put my bright concealer here. And here. I'm gonna put it on my nose. I'm gonna put it the, the almost like the same places. Okay. Um, Right. 
we are learning. Good. So now that we're done concealing our face, we're going to contour. So for contour, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Coco. This, this, this is actually a thick foundation, but I use it as my contour just because it gets the job done. So I'm going to be applying it here. Here around my forehead because you know you have to reduce the size, so that has to be reduced. Then my nose, a boo, yo, baby. So now I'm going to be taking my brush. And I'm going to be using this to blend out the contour. The reason why I'm not using my beauty blender is I just feel like when I'm contouring my face, the brush blends out my makeup more than the beauty blender does. You know? So, all we'll day now, we'll just take. Okay? Okay. Now, see how that blends out? Other side. See how that blends up perfectly? Yeah. So for my nose, I am going to be using the beauty blender because it's much. Then I'm going to be taking my blush, this is from oh, NYX, this is fake blush, so I'm going to be putting it that all the colors I'm going to be using will be in the description box, so then I'm going to bring this out. Ooh, look at that. That's so now, so now that we have applied everything else, it's time for us to apply our foundation. Using my MAC foundation and my NYX, I'm going to mix these two to get my complexion. So this this thing that's been going on behind the internet is about um, a color co a foundation corrector, and I've been trying to get my hands on it, but nobody in my area has it, and. I think like that's what I that's what I need to help me save products because yes, your girl is now that we're done. And okay, so now this is the One of the reasons why I like this technique because you don't use a lot of products, you know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not using a shitload of products. I'm applying the foundation to all the places that I didn't apply uh, the products. I'm even going to apply the foundation on top of the products. On top of all the places that I apply products in between on the side. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this? 
See how natural this looks. Let's get like let's look at it. So the video stopped recording for no reason. This the when I tell you every time I think like this is my third time trying to shoot this video. Every time I try to shoot this video, stuff like this happens and it just puts me off. But we move. My mom did not break so for it. So what I did was I browned my face. After browning my face, I set my face with the Lauren Mercier baking powder. And I'm still actually low-key setting my face. Because right now I need to bake before I Hurt anybody? Period. So now that that's done, let's move on to our eyes. The moment of truth, the one that you have been waiting for. Let's move. I'm gonna go in with my Floyd Cosmetics Big G palette. <laughs> for you guys that have been following for a long time, you guys know. And for you guys that have been following for a long time, you guys know how much I love this palette. On my Instagram, that's all I use. That's all I use to do it. That's all I use. Literally all I use <laughs> with this brown, with this dark brown this dark brown and I'm gonna put it around my eye. I'm gonna take this small brush to blend this out just because I don't like nothing harsh on my feet. So I'm gonna take this brush just to blend out the edges you know, just to make sure that it's not so. The biggest fear when I was doing this look is that God, please do not make me look like the right boom. I was like, God, please do not today. And and I and the crazy part was I already did my full face before I did my eyes. So whatever I was doing was literally like girl. If I was gonna mess up this look, I was really gonna mess up this look. We're gonna go in with the black. And the reason why I'm using this small brush was because it's easy to pat on and it's easy to control. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. So, what you wanna do is you wanna put it all on top of all around your lips. So now what I'm now that I've applied the black eyeshadow all around, around my eyes and it's reaching toward the top. Now what I'm doing, I'm taking this small brush and I'm moving it in circular motions. Circular motions. Now, I'm gonna, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same brown 
the same brown that I used for our transition shade, I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes. Right here. Underneath our eyes. I'm not putting it all the way here, I'm just putting it half the way. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this black eye pencil and I'm gonna put it um, around my waterline. So now I'm gonna go in again with this. I'm gonna go in with our transition shade and just put it at the bottom. Put it at the bottom. And then boom. So for this look, I was wearing contact lens. I don't know if I should like bring them out. I, I don't feel like putting them on at the moment. I don't know, we'll see how I feel after I'm Because I did wear this before I put my contact lens on. Yeah, I did put my lashes and everything before I put my contact lens on. So I took this metallic color and I put it in my inner corner, just like that's it. I applied my blush, my highlight, now I'm gonna apply my contact lens because I just feel like something was missing, you know? <laughs> this is the other ones. So, I don't think we need a liner, but I am gonna, but I am gonna line my lips with, with the lipstick itself. Get a pile over. Now, I can leave it like this because, oh, this is cute. This is really cute. So I can leave it like this, but I want a little bit of color on my lips. So I'm taking this pink lip gloss and I'm putting it right here. Right in the corner of it. So I just applied gloss all over my lips. I used a very plain and shiny lip gloss and I just applied it all over my lips so yeah so guys this is the finished look what y'all think If you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and comment if you haven't already you can subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you can be notified every time i post my name is natasha and i post every week and i'll see you guys next week